Now let's comment on Yu-Gi-Oh Master, I'm going to be showing you some replays today, so they're from Duelist Cup, and I'm going to be using Black Magician, so also known as Dark Magician. But yeah, even though Dark Magician doesn't have the Battle of Chaos cards, and Red Eyes Dark Dragoon, you know, is banned, unfortunately, Dark Magician has actually been carrying me in Duelist Cup. I'm even in level 17 now because of Dark Magician. So, you know, I'm a big Blue Eyes fan, but... With Dark Magician, there's something I've been doing that's screwing over my opponents a lot, especially if I go first, you know, if I go second, it's a little eh. But, I have three Secret Village of the Spellcasters and one Metaverse. I could add Terraforming, but eh, a little bit too much. So I use Dark Magical Circle, but I saw I could get Metaverse, so I got Metaverse, so I set it down, and then I set down Solemn Judgment. So I waited until it was my opponent's like draw phase. That's when I used Metaverse. And then I put um, Secret, Vi uh, sorry, Secret Village of the Spellcast on my deck to the field. And then with the Dark Magicians, I was able to get Dark Magical Circle. Who knows? Maybe this guy was using uh, Run Neck, huh? <laughs> or Branded. So honestly, that made me very happy. I'm not going to lie. There's a lot of replays where this happens, but I'm just going to show a few because, you know, I I'm sure you want to see more epic stuff, you know, just more things, but don't worry, <laughs> there's two matches, um, the last two matches where it's against Runnick and oh man, yeah I really missed using Dark Magician to be honest, but just, I pretty much said I wasn't going to use them anymore because of um, not getting like the Battle of Chaos support and Dragoon is banned, but yeah, so much Runnick running around that I pretty much have to, right, so, you know, it just stops him. Um, so, what did I do? Oh yeah, they activated that. I used Called by the Grave, I didn't use Ash Blossom, and I'll show you why. I, I'll show you why I didn't use Ash Blossom. So I used Called by the Grave uh, on this, just so it's negated the next turn as well, which, you know, is amazing, because you know, I just hate that card. So here, I activated Magician Souls to Special Summon Dark Magician. And then I normal summoned Ash Blossom, and then I synchro summoned into a Baron de Fleur. <laughs> and then I um, played Magician Solvation to get um, Eternal Soul, and then I played Dark Magical Circle. That's when they used Ash Blossom, and I was like, that's perfectly fine. I could have negated it, but what's the point? You can only negate once with Baron, so I was just like, nope, I'm not going to negate that. I'd rather negate something you do here. So here they summon this monster and I quickly summon Dark Magician just so I can waste their normal summon and before this effect goes through. So I banished that monster with Dark Magical Circle. Then they played Chaos Space and that's when I decided to negate with Baron because I doubt this is anything. This not going through kind of screws this guy over. So yeah. And then they ended their turn. So here I actually sent this back to my extra deck to special summon Ash Blossom from my graveyard and then I synchro summoned into Baron again <laughs> and then yeah I attacked I could have summoned Dark Magician but you know Dark Magical Circle stuff like that you know so I wanted to wait and then it got to my opponent's turn and then well they left <laughs> This duel is only two turns, so I don't know if it's me locking my opponent from playing spell cards again with like Secret Village of the Spellcasters. It could be, to be honest. Uh, we'll have to see. But yeah, just, you know, I really want the Battle of Chaos cards, man. Just give me Battle of Chaos cards, please. So here I discard a Dark Magician to summon Apprentice, and I got Dark Magician to my hand. Woohoo! And then I set down um, Skill Drain and Solemn Judgment, and then I played Secret Village of the Spellcasters. So what did my opponent do? Oh yeah, they left, that's right. Probably a Runic player, probably a Branded player, I don't know. One of those, one of those. You were unlucky, I'm not gonna lie, you were pretty unlucky. Pause the video, go to the toilet, get some food, take some time off, because this replay is 18 turns. This is what you've been waiting for. This is what it's all about. Ooh, yeah, baby. That's what I've been waiting for. That's what it's all about. So, I'm hating my hand right now. It's pretty trash. So, yeah, I'm dueling against Runnick. Um, Runnick, the Hedgehog. <laughs> so, I used Ash Blossom um, on this. Runnick tip. Jeez, that's sexual harassment right there. Okay, Runnick tip. What the hell? Um, 
So then they banished Cot from my deck. Then I played this fusion. Then I activated the spell to banish yeah, another card from my deck. And then I was able to draw a card and then they banished some more cards. And then they did this to get like, yeah, just like to draw free. Yeah. Oh my god, I just, yeah. And they banished Magician Souls, which I really wanted. So I was very, very, very annoyed about that. So I got Magician's Rod. I was fine with it. So I summoned uh, Magician's Rod. Got Dark Magical Circle. I used Dark Magical Circle. And then I played um, Soul Servant just to get Dark Magician's Or actually, no, what did I try getting? Magician Souls. Ah, oh, um, no, no, no. I, I put Magician Souls there because I wanted to draw it next. But I completely forgot about this. So I was just like, oh man. So I changed my order again. I was like, ah, oh, whatever. Like, uh, I completely forgot about that. I, like, I, uh, yeah, that was really dumb. So I just put Apprentice down. Like, whatever, I don't care for Apprentice. Um, so then they banished another card. So I played Secret Village of the Spellcasters. So they used all of their spell cards in their hand. Um, but it wasn't enough to get rid of Secret Village of the Spellcasters. So yeah, they banished more cards, more cards, but Secret Village of the Spellcasters went through. And then yeah, this went through after, and this too. But that is the last time they used spell cards. So here with this one, I used Ash Blossom just so I don't draw three cards. Um, but yeah, this is pretty much the last time my opponent uses spell cards because of Secret Village of the Spellcasters. I basically locked this guy from playing Yu-Gi-Oh! Because they use Runic. So here they gained a thousand life points, but that's not going to happen anymore because I'm going to activate Skill Drain. So I activated Skill Drain just so they don't gain a thousand life points every turn, because trust me, they would have gained a lot of life points. It takes me the longest time to even get something like to attack with. But yeah, so this is why the game is like 18 turns. It's just basically this. They don't have any spell casters, so they can't play any spell cards. I'm weak to, you know, just I, I can't destroy this because I'm weak. But yeah, if it wasn't for skill drain, this guy would have been gaining like a thousand life points every turn. So I got Maxi, which, you know, is pretty pointless because they can't special summon. But yeah, I just locked this guy from playing and I was so happy, man. I was just like Dark Magician, like... Oh man, um, so yeah, they just couldn't do anything. So it was just base. I was just basically waiting for like a stronger monster or apprentice. Because if I get apprentice, I can make magician's rod attack like three thousand. Oh, sorry, two thousand six hundred. No, sorry, three thousand six hundred attack. Yeah, yeah, which would be enough to destroy this. So I was pretty much waiting for apprentice or dark magician. So I kept waiting. I just didn't get any monsters. The thing is, I have two banished Dark Magicians and one banished Apprentice. So I was like, all right, I know I have another Dark Magician in the deck, luckily. But yeah, they couldn't just do anything. Um, so <laughs> yeah, just getting negated. I finally got Apprentice. Keep in mind, I only have like seven cards in my deck. So I need to finish this guy quickly who has 10,000 life points. That can't even fit on the original dual disc. Oh, <laughs> uh, you know, the dual disc toys, doesn't matter. Um, so then I used Metaverse just so I can set down Solemn Judgment without me, like, using up all my spells and traps. Because, yeah, I didn't want to stop myself from just not using them. So I got another Magician's Rod, which I was very happy about. So I attacked and attacked, and that's where was the downfall for this guy. I have, like, five cards in my deck, so I really need to finish. But then again, I can deal, like, a few thousand damage every time it's my turn so but yeah this guy pretty much just got locked thanks to secret village of the spellcasters so i summoned apprentice and then i attacked then attacked and attacked and well yeah pretty much over for this guy <laughs> i was very happy about that so i sat down called by the grave because i was fine to i was just pretty much fine with what i had you know Plus, if they activate anything, Solemn Judgment stops the chain, so yeah. I got Dark Magician, I didn't want to risk summoning it with Eternal Soul, so I attacked. They use Skill Drain, I'm like, okay, like, thanks. That felt 
Good. That is, <laughs> that is the reason why I'm using Dark Magician now. Even though Battle of Chaos cards are not in Master Duel and Dragoon is banned. Right, it's going to be the last replay I show you, then I'll show you the deck at the end of this. It's against uh, Runic. Yep. This was actually right after that one. So it's against Runic. Um, so here, who's going first? I'm going first, okay. So look, I'm not going to lie. I, can, I didn't know what to do with this, but I had an idea. So I just cut a Dark Magician to summon Apprentice, and I got Dark Magician. And then I used um, Magician Souls to Special Summon Dark Magician Girl. Then I XC summoned into Naruto. And then I pretty much ended my turn. So I basically just waited for them to do something just so I can banish with um, Eternal Soul when I summon Dark Magician. So here they went to destroy Naruto. That's when I decided to negate that. So then they used this. Um, special summon one Runic monster. So I was like, okay, like that's fine. So I summoned that annoying, stupid fusion. And then, yeah, that got negated. Um, then, yeah, they went to get the Runic field spell, which they did. Now, I pretty much waited until they played that field spell. So they played it here. So I used Eternal Soul to summon Dark Magician. Look, here they went to destroy Dark Magical Circle. It makes sense because I can't banish that field spell now. But if they did get rid of Eternal Soul, they would have been able to destroy all my monsters. But would have really mattered. They only have like a zero attack monster in the field. So it makes sense to get rid of Dark Magical Circle. Then they ended their turn. So I was like, okay. Um, so I got Magician's Rod, which I was very happy about. Because now I can just get Dark Magical Circle again. And then they left. So... <laughs> <laughs> oh my god, it feels so good. Alright, so this is the deck I was using um, in the replays you just saw. But yeah, honestly, just carrying me in Duelist Cup <laughs> in ranked, Blue Eyes gets me to, like, you know, Diamond, right? But who knows, maybe in Duelist Cup, Dark Magician will get me to level 20, hopefully. But yeah, just... Like, like, I know, like, I say this all the time, but I know Dark... Like, despite Dark Magician not having the support and, you know, Dragoon being banned, I really miss using Dark Magician. It's such a fun deck. Um, just amazing. But, yeah, just... Hopefully, this weekend, uh, when they have Yu-Gi-Oh! Jump Festa, they'll announce Illusion of Chaos and other Dark Magician cards coming to your muscle. Even, hopefully, Blue Eyes Alternative Ultimate Dragon. But yeah, alright, going to end it here. Thank you for watching, and I will see you later. Bye!